Welcome to the first Saturday, and we have a new fabulous folded a card die cuts. This is the double pop-up card cutting die, and wait till you see what Teresa has created for us. Come play with us. Well, before we get into what Teresa has done, let me show you the results of using this cutting die. Here is the card. It's actually the one that's on the front of the package, and as you open it, there is our double pop-up card. How pretty, okay. Well, let me show you what this is all about. But the first thing I wanna say is that this is designed to be used on a regular die cutting machine. So if you have a Big Shot, you have the Gemini Junior, any of the ones that have a six inch wide plate, everything will work perfectly. So no need to get anything extra. And of course, the instructions are on the back of the package. That's what we always do. Now this is the die. It is a very sturdy full metal plate. That's really nice. As Teresa tells me, she loves the fact it's never gonna warp. She never has to worry of something getting off center or wiggly because it's a solid piece. Now what you will get is you will end up with a piece just like this. So let me show it to you next to the diagram. So you can see it's the same uh, right side up or upside down, makes no difference. You can see the V's and the M's right here. Well, I hope you can see that. Anyway, the V stands for valley. It's a fold that goes like this. An M stands for mountain, which is a fold like this. And what you'll do after you die cut out your cardstock is you'll follow this to get your V's and your M's, your valleys and your mountains. What I like to do is to start in the middle because the middle is always going to be a valley fold, just like that. You See that V, okay? Now, that's going to be V, it's gonna be on both sides. In this particular one, the centerpiece is also going to be a V. So that just kind of gets me started. Then as I see going from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, I'm going to be alternating. So this is going to start with a valley. This is going to be a mountain. When you first start doing it, um, it's, it's going to resist you a little bit. So you just kind of pinch them a little. And then as you work it, they will soften up. And then when you're done, it will collapse just like this. Oh, one tip. I really find to use a bone folder. Um, you can use your, the handles of your scissors, anything that's going to help you push these down and really get very firm uh, folds there. Okay, so that's gonna work. Then you probably notice I've got the extra sticky tape. This is the quarter inch. And what Teresa tells me is that she recommends putting it on any of the areas that are going to touch the inside of your card. So there and there. One thing you'll want to remember is don't overlap them because you're going to be pulling off that liner and you don't want to have to fuss with anything being on top of each other. Now, after you get this positioned, then you will simply take your card, okay, we're gonna pretend like this one, and you will slip it in. Remember, this? these folds are gonna go into the center of your card. So you'll just place it like that and then pull off the liner and then close the card down. And then you'll, that will be positioned inside your card. And then you'll simply tear the, uh, pull these off, close the card again, and that will have it inserted perfectly into your card. So these are going to match the fold on the inside of your card. Okay, well, let's see what Teresa has done. And here we go. This is her first card and oh, so pretty. This is using the, um, blue persuasion and it's using the six by six papers and she took this one that i have right here and used this on the front now you can see that she let it start with the edge of the paper and then she ended up cutting off some of the text you can do it whichever way you like um, that's what Teresa has done. And she simply glued that onto her five by six and a half inch card. And that's going to give you the base to begin it. And then she went into the um, Blue Persuasion die cuts. And this die piece, this die cut piece right here is this tag. 
she simply turned it on its side and foam taped it in place. And then the thinking of you, well, that's another of the um, dies from the package. So that worked nicely. Now, the other piece that's on the front of her card is our jewel die cut butterflies. And what Teresa does, and she, you're already gonna have your extra sticky tape out. So just put a piece of it under the body of that die cut. That way the wings can move a little bit. And that's kind of nice. So that's her recommendation. She did go into the blue um, ribbon set to tie her bow. And then she used Hunky Dory's blue shimmer sparkles. You'll get the whole package, I promise. Uh, and she put those just on the bow and on the butterfly. Now, going into the inside of her card, let me show you. For this, let's see, she took the blue, in fact, the blue persuasion cardstock, the solid cardstock, has all shades of blue. Boy, everything from light blue clear to a midnight blue and a navy blue. So she die cut it and then positioned it and attached it just as I showed you. So that was step one. Step two is that she went into the six by six uh, papers, cardstock, and cut out some of the um, pieces. And you can see that she glued them to the sides and then onto those little, um, little platforms that were created. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is that you see how that is actually extending beyond that step? Well, that's perfectly fine. So you don't have to feel that you're constrained by putting things into that little space. You can just let them hang out because this is created so that you've got plenty of space outside those steps. Now, she also added more flowers and they came from another sheet <laughs> right here that's in, that's in the pack. So you can just cut out the flowers, the leaves, whatever you like, just whatever you want to work. And you can see that she's also glued them uh, all around the piece. Now, another butterfly or two is floating. One right here, done the same way. And this one was done the exact same way. Again, putting the extra sticky tape behind the body. Now to get a little bit of sparkle, let me show you what she added. And it is our friend, the Thin Line Dazzles. <clears throat> now, you're gonna get black, white, gold, and silver, and you can see that she used silver at the top, along the edge there, the bottom edge, and down here. And so that just adds some sparkle to this really lovely card. So that is our first one. Now, let's go into our second, because Teresa always does something different with every single project. Isn't this pretty? Now, this is using some cutting dies as well as the papers. Now, let me start with the papers because we kind of build from the bottom up. And this is the Chantilly Lace. And what Teresa has done, she has taken this sheet. Now, you see the white lace right there? Well, that is what she is using um, to really kind of give a little background to this beautiful cutting die. So let me show you. So this was cut down. This is out of the six by six. And you are going to end up covering up some of those roses, but you know, we've got to just pay the price to get some pretty things on there. So this was cut and then it was matted onto the um, Chantilly lace. You can see that burgundy, that really pretty burgundy color. So that's what was done there. Now, to get the cutting die, she used the rose lace cutting die. Now this has two pieces. So she took the, that same burgundy cardstock and die cut both the plate and the outside of it out of the burgundy. Then she went back and out of the gold metallic cardstock, she simply cut the um, outside edge because she's going to place the die cut piece onto the, uh, the gold piece, okay? So that's going to make that very easy. Now, she simply glued those together and glued them to the front of her card. Now, this piece is another of the sheets. This is a micro dot. It may just, you may not see the dots on camera, I'm not sure, but it is a micro dot and she matted that on the gold. 
and attached it right there. Now, you can see that she's got some extra roses. Well, you could take this die, I imagine, and cut around the roses if you wanted to. There is a simpler way, but yes, it does use another die, and it's this one. It's the corner roses, and you can see, not only do you get the corner roses, but you also get a medium and a larger flower and the backing piece. So the backing piece she did out of the pink that's out of the um, Chantilly lace, and then she did, as you can see, the roses out of the gold again. So we've got gold underneath the cutting die and gold on top of the cutting die. And I do love these little swirls that are right here, those petals, and it's just so pretty coming out from the flowers, just really nice. Now, let's look on the inside and see what she's done. Oh my, this is a horizontal card. Okay, well the fold is up here. And what she has done <clears throat> is that same cardstock, she cut two pieces and then glued them so that they're meeting in the fold. They don't overlap, there's a little bit of a gap there so that they don't um, create any, any problems with opening. However, on the inside, she couldn't use this paper out of the six by six, so she used the 12 by 12 version. And this is, of course, out of the 12 by 12 Chantilly lace. Well, she needed a piece that would go the whole length of that cutting die, and so she die cut it. And again, she has the pieces that are extending out from those steps. So. That's nice to see. And more of those roses, those gold roses with the pink backing, that work nicely. Now, the edge of this, right along the edge, we use the thin, or she used the thin line dazzles in the first one, but this is a different set of thin line. This is thin line glitter. And so there is a really pretty soft gold that's going around the edge that is just doing a nice job of coordinating with the gold roses. Okay, so a horizontal piece. Now, I have one more, and let me show you. This is a five by five card, and it is out of an artful card kit. I haven't seen us use one of those in a while. Now, the Artful Card Kits have the papers, they have cutouts, they have die cuts all together. And uh, what Teresa did is she took her five by six and a half inch card and she cut it down to be five by five. You can take uh, cardstock and make your card. You can get the five by five cards, whatever you like, but the structure is five by five. The fold is right here, okay? now. In this Something Wonderful Artful Card Kit, Teresa took this paper, there are seven papers in there, and she cut it to be slightly smaller than her five by five card. Okay, so that worked out nicely. Then there are also die cuts in there. In fact, there are 27, oops, 90, excuse me, 39 <laughs> cutouts are inside, die cuts are inside. So this is the one, and you can see that she placed it horizontally, really pretty. Now, in addition to that, there's also cutouts, as I said, and this is the one that she used. You'll notice that there's also one with the same artwork, but without a greeting. That's so that you can choose your own greeting, you can computer journal, you can stamp, you can use dazzles, whatever you like. So she cut this out and matted it onto white cardstock and then foam taped it on top. Now, these flowers and the butterfly, those are die cuts that are in the package, as you can see. So those get foam taped also. Now, to give a bit of sparkle, because you know we like sparkle, she added the gold jewel dazzles. So just lift those in place. She placed one in each of the flowers, the little ones there and the medium ones right there. Now, for the inside of her card, Teresa could not use the base as it is because it's too big. But what she did was something very clever. So you see, it does work. She cut a half inch off of this. So when she had die cut it, 
she took a half inch off this long edge and a half inch off this long edge. Then she had something that would fit perfectly. So that's also a good technique to know and nice to have that versatility. So here, she die cut it out of a blue also, just like our first card. And then she went back into the papers and took this one, let's see, that is the all over floral that I am looking for, <laughs> here it is, that all over floral. In fact, isn't that pretty? It's nice to have those little prints. And she cut a piece to go here and here by the way, the measurements are all down below in the um, gallery and in e by each card. Then she did mat them on pink and then glued them at the edge. So after placing her piece on the center, then she kind of covered up the edges. So you can do that. Then she went back into the cutouts and into the die cuts and glued them as shown. Now something that I think is really nice, you see this grouping of three? Well, two are on one side and one is on the other, but you see how they kind of merge as the card is opened and it does, they don't get into each other's way as when it's closing. So she's done it here and then she's done the same thing here. And I think that's a really nice look. Those same dazzles are there. However, on the outside edge, she has taken our fancy dazzles, and these are the pearl and pastel ones, and you can see the green ones that she used here and here, and the same ones on the other side. Now, do you see the wish, the heart, the happy birthday in the heart? Those are out of also the tiny words and phrases that is pastels and pearls. So you can see everything is going to match. So whether you need words or you need borders, you've got them covered in those two packages. So isn't that nice? Okay, so to recap, we have our new cutting die that will fit any machine you have. And we also have many ways to use them. So you can use this in vertical cards, as we saw. You can use them in horizontal cards, great. And you can also use them in smaller cards. So this is a five by five, obviously it would work for a six by six. So you can play around with that and see that it's going to work for whatever kind of card you wanna do. Well, that's what we have today. Oh, by the way, um, all of the cards are down below. Good heavens, someone's revving their car out there. All the projects are down below with all the instructions step by step. Also on the right side of it is our money saver. Now the money saver this time, you will get the cutting die and you will get six sheets of that blue persuasion solid cardstock that, that will help you make the insides of both the first card and the last card. So that's work. Did I mention that that's free? Well, it is. So just works really well. Thank you, Teresa, for some wonderful ideas. And um, don't forget to see the money saver. Take advantage of it if you like it. If you're watching us on YouTube, please come on over. Take advantage of the money saver. You can get the instructions and make everything perfectly. Well, thank you so much, as always, for being part of our Paper Wishes family. We'll see you next time.